Hello YouTube, this is Sean from the Pompey Games Room. Right, a really quick video here. I've recently been looking for a new video capture device. I now have a Windows 8 laptop and a Dazzle recorder will not work. I've tried installing it five or six times, will not work. Um, so this is my old one here, fully boxed, everything. You know, I was really hoping just to be able to put this on the Windows 8 laptop and away I went. Unfortunately, you can't do that. So, unless you're willing to pay $20 to Corel, who now own Pinnacle, you can't get any help with this item trying to install it. So for £35, it's a great little unit if you've got a Windows 7 la laptop or anything around Vista stage. Unfortunately for Windows 8, it just will not install. It installs, but you can't capture anything. So unfortunately, I had to get rid of this. I wanted to make this video very quickly because I've been looking for about eight months now and I finally found something that I've been absolutely blown away by and I absolutely just want to share it with everyone. Um, so, let me introduce to you the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now, I've done an awful lot of research on these items and um, this seems to be one of the best rated products for game capture and it works for retro games as well. So, we're going to open up the box, take a quick look at it, and do a quick overview of it, just because this is the sort of video I really wanted to find on YouTube in regards to answering a few questions, in regards to upgrading, basically. So, we're going to take a quick look inside, what you get in the box, how you set it up, and the whole nine yards, basically. So, anyway, you start off here by pulling it out of its little cardboard slot, and you're greeted by a little case. There we go, pretty self-explanatory on the front there, what it's for. It's clearly defining that it's really for PS3 and stuff, but you know. So we open it up and you're greeted by the actual Algato HD game capture device itself. And this thing is tiny and weighs probably no more than say an iPhone. It's very, very lightweight. But the build quality, it's pretty good. You know, pretty good build quality. You've got some little rubber pads on the back there so you can leave it permanently set up. And uh, basically, We've got HDMI in, so your HDMI feed, if you've got an upscaler, you can plug it straight in there. Or, the most important thing, if you're like me and just got uh, sort of AV cables for your older consoles, there's a little uh, socket set that comes in here, little socket set, sorry, a little connector that you can plug your AV cables into, feeds it through here, and the best thing about it is, it comes out HDMI at the other end. So you plug that into your TV, and off you go. You've got a HDMI picture on the TV, Whilst this little thing here goes off to the PC and records your footage. So, that's the actual game capture card itself. It's tiny. So as you move into the box, the best thing about this is there's no serial numbers and there's not a lot of instructions. It's this simple to set up. So you've got your PS3 instructions here, how to set it up. The cables are in the bottom here, which we'll go through. Basically, follow these instructions. It's an idiot's guide, seriously. So, this is the cable I've used most. We basically take our AV cable, any AV cable from any old console, and we simply, if I can just get them into the correct, do that. I believe that's the way it goes. And uh, away we go, basically. You plug that, then the other end, we've got the cables plugged in here. This obviously goes into the Mega Drive if you're using a Mega Drive. Then we take the Elgato unit and plug this into here. So now we've got all this hooked up, we basically use the other cables we've got. We've got a HDMI cable here, which obviously if you've already got this plugged in, you don't need a HDMI cable. You're getting your feed from your games console from this adapter here. This cable goes into this side and into your TV. So basically it's still wrapped here. I've put it back in just trying to keep everything together. At the bottom here, we've got the other cables, which I assume is for the Xbox, but I don't own an Xbox, so that's just gonna sit there, really. But um, yeah, so it really is that simple, guys. Um, you get an awful lot for your money here, and the best thing, like I said, is there's no serial numbers, there's no DVD or CD to install the software. Basically, when you get the item, it says on the card itself that you need to go to the actual website. It's in here somewhere. Um, you go to the website, and you basically just download um, the files 
the relevant files, it means that there's no sort of, when you're picking one of these items up, you could very easily just buy this itself and the cable separately, saving yourself a lot of money unless you want to purchase it all with the case, with the cables, everything like that. So it's great in a way because you can get a lot for your money. You don't have to buy it fully boxed. You don't need a serial number and everything like that. So this is a great little unit if you're looking to upgrade your sort of video capturing software. And it is brilliant quality, guys. I know I keep saying it, but um, I've looked around for so long trying to find one of these units and uh, decided on this one. Um, and also I was sort of contemplating having to buy an upscaler um, to upscale any footage I got out of, say, like a Roxio. Um, unit. Um, you can buy Roxy's very, very, uh, well, not cheap. They're about 75 quid on eBay second hand, or you can buy them brand new for 150, the Roxio HD, which is what I was looking at. But I decided for this because I don't need an upscaler. Um, I can plug retro game footage into this and it will record it beautifully. And also I can play it on the widescreen at the same time. So anyway, that's enough looking at what you get in the box. So what I'm going to do now is hand us over to the TV and the laptop and we'll go through how to set it up and all the workings. Right, okay, so we've got everything linked up. This will be a quick sort of look at it. Basically, we're going to link it up to the Mega Drive, which already seems to have happened. So, as you can see, I've described these cables in the last part. We've got the laptop all set up here, and that's the interface. So you've basically got all your items down here, which you can scroll through at the side. There's plenty of bits and bobs you can do, like saving locations and, and everything like that, really. So it's, it's pretty easy to use, really, really good interface. Down here, obviously, the big red button to record and you can uh, train it to record in certain certain places so basically if you want it to record on your external hard drive as long as it's plugged in you can reference it there and off you go now one thing here when i plugged it in originally the difference in the screenplay between the tv and the laptop is uh, or computer is massive so you won't really be able to play any of your retro games through your laptop you're going to have to sort of switch to the tv but that's quite easy to do because this um, actual unit, the Elgato unit, will actually upscale your game play to HDMI. So your HDMI then goes through the back of the TV and we're upscaling to HDMI. And it keeps clicking there because it's searching for the signal. So that sort of says, you know, that this, this little unit is absolutely brilliant for the old games consoles as well as the modern day ones. So we've had a quick look there and I'll show you what I mean by switching it on. Now it will take a few seconds for the actual uh, footage to go live onto the HDMI channel. It will come onto the laptop sooner and as soon as you click the on button it will start, it will basically start up automatically. There we go and any second now we'll get some footage on the TV. Any second now. There we go. So, the footage on the laptop is quite far behind. So you see what I mean? If you press the button on that game, it would be ridiculous waiting for the actual um, you know, footage to appear on your screen and the buttons to register. So it will record your gameplay. As you can see here, it's gone full screen, but as you can see myself in there, there we go. You just go down, click record, and we're recording. So it's as simple as that guys and it's a really really handy little unit this. Um, I was really really shocked when I found out that I could get this for a really good deal on eBay. I mean it cost me about £100 um, and it, it's literally brand new but it comes with everything. Uh, we've been through the box already and uh, for retro gaming needs it's a must as a games capture device. Um, I'm not really going to have a problem now playing any of my retro game consoles. Uh, through my laptop while well, recording the footage I won't be able to play through the laptop I will have to hook them up to the TV but to be honest they sit permanently set up now really these and there's the uh, there's the PS3 over there so it's a real winner guys in my book and although the cabling's a bit of a mess and stuff you know as soon as you get it all plumbed into the back of your TV it's going to make a great addition to any YouTube uh, channel owners um, arsenal really for <laughs> their assault on the retro gaming world um, it's a brilliant little uh, piece of kit and it's highly recommended by myself. Um, I've been looking around for one of these little video capture cards now, on and off now for about sort of, I would say probably about six to eight months since my laptop went pop. Um, and this brilliant little item here is compatible with Windows 8 and it's, I can't speak highly enough about it guys. I've gotten some great footage so far and um, well one of these games, uh, well 
just to let you know that uh, <laughs> there's a reason this is in the actual uh, Mega Drive because I'm doing a video on it at the moment and I've gotten some really good footage via the Elgato onto my laptop so it's all good stuff guys um, stay tuned please feel free to comment rate and subscribe I hope this video has been of some use to you um, basically I was trawling around the internet trying to find reviews on these little units and uh, this one came back full marks all the time. Um, it was a toss up between this and a Roxio unit, but the Roxio unit doesn't seem to be rated very well on Amazon and uh, other marketplaces online. So it was the Elgato unit all the way. I'm absolutely over the moon to get this into the collection, guys. So keep your eyes out for this unit and make sure you get it in for your gaming reviews. Take care, guys. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks.